My name is Kelly Girardi, and I am a payload specialist flying on the Galactic 5 research mission. In less than two weeks. Today for me is L-10, so 10 days before I go to space. This Palm Beach County native. I grew up in Jupiter, Florida, so born and raised. Is headed to space on a science mission with Virgin Galactic. I have special training to operate scientific instruments in space. So I'm going to be conducting research related to human health care and fluid dynamics in space on behalf of my research institute, the International Institute for Astronautical Sciences. Are you up and back in one day doing this research? Yeah, so it's a same day science flight. The timeline to conduct the science is short. We have choreography sort of down to the second and we really try to maximize the science return so every single second counts. She remembers dreaming of this moment as a child here. My bedroom window perfectly framed that stretch of sky facing Cape Canaveral. And I always thought that perhaps there might be a way I could be a part of this. I used to more lay awake thinking like, gosh, what if I don't achieve this one thing I want to achieve in my life? She's also a mom on a mission, putting fear aside. A lot of people ask if I'm nervous or if I'm scared and I, it, I'm truly not. I think if anything, it's this you know, floating anxiety about sort of the preciousness of this opportunity. Her goal is multifaceted. I think sometimes people have a certain image in their mind of what it means to be in science or to be in STEM or to be a mother or to be sort of any of these boxes that we might place on ourselves or on each other. And I think embracing our multitudes. Now forwarding the future for women in space, the flight window opens on November 2nd in New Mexico. Does this make you an astronaut then after the fact? Yeah, on November 2nd, so right after I returned to Earth. That's so cool. Fewer than 100 women in history oh have ever flown to space and uh, you know, the, the barrier has always been access and not aptitude. Now, my daughter and her generation grow up knowing that, you know, not even the sky is the limit on their dreams. I'm Tori Dunn in reporting.